hello everyone in this video we are going to learn this a3 recorder which is a uh, an application comes with the auto it package which allow you to record and the playback your actions okay see this is a click to record option so if you don't know how to open it from scratch just close it that access and save the script now go to all programs auto it extras go to browse extras and you find folder call a3 recorder open this application yeah it opened okay let's see on by one click to record is a button as soon as you click on this button script it start recording and the scripts will be generated here and it has three options one is shrink window during record record window text record mouse if you mock this shrink window during record, as soon as you click on the click to record button, this A3 record window application will get minimized. And the record window text will recognize windows text, which means auto it consider all the application as a windows. So if you check mark this record window text option, then it will also use the text inside the application. For example, A3 record, this is an application and it having this A3 3.3 made for auto TV3 is a window title and this click to record a shrink window during record. These are all the text of this window. So if you enable, it will recognize this record window text as a text. Okay, record mouse. It will record your mouse coordinates on the clicks, how, uh, how many number of clicks you have performed. It will be noted. Okay, and this save button allow you to save this script uh, which is generated in a3 file format and this is run button see uh, you have to use this run button if you are going to launch the application and then simulate the actions but if you already launched the application and you just want to record your action then no need to worry about this uh, let's see how to play with the calculator I'll open the calculator so I'm going to close it and I'm going to use this run text box to launch the calculator. You should provide where your calculator application is. My calculator application present in this path but of course it may vary depending upon the OS version. Calc.exe followed by you have to give the path followed by the file name. Okay. Before, read, before recording, check mark this record window text. Um, I suggest you to check all these three options. Okay. And browse button. So you, it is an additional option. If you click on the use, you can select this path using this browse button as well. So I am directly paste it here. But if you click on the browse button it will ask for where the file exists and you can select your application followed by your file name so now just record this as soon as you click on the click to record calculator window automatically it's launched i'm going to press one and again plus and then one then equal to so i have pressed one and then plus button and then one button again and then equal to I am going to stop this one. Before stopping, uh, if you want to make a click on application which beside this uh, click to stop uh, uh, button, then uh, you can use this arrow mark to move towards the right side and if you want to move towards the left side, take your mouse and place it here. So I'm going to stop the recording, click on the click to stop. See this is your scripts, A3 auto IT scripts got generated for your actions. So as of now, no need to worry much about this script. We will discuss all these functions and the parameters in detail in the upcoming chapters. So first save the script, save it as test on open script saved okay so close it uh, this a3 recorder 
and close the calculator as well because um, our script is going to launch the calculator from the beginning so no need of this calculator application you can go to that file this is one which we save click on this as soon as i click on this calculator gets launched and simulate the actions what i have performed before so this is the use of recurrent playback options in auto ID. thank you for watching this video please subscribe